Hey everybody, got the Hobby Drifter here again. It is Monday, October 19th, 2020, and I just got back from Book Off with a retail therapy type haul. Yeah, it's kind of a long week, long weekend, busy stuff at work. So I figured I'd take a walk up to the local Book Off and see what we could find. And I did find something. I got a big bag of stuff. So, let's uh, go through and see what stuff came back with me from Book Off. Uh, the first is a vintage Game Boy game. It's Puyo Puyo. I've got a, a love for Puyo Puyo. It's one of my favorite series to absolutely suck at. Uh, this copy is in really, really nice shape. Uh, I haven't checked to see if it includes the instructions or anything yet. Uh, so I, I will I will do that right now, in fact. I've had uh, Puyo Puyo 2 for the Game Boy for probably 10 years now. Again, also, uh, mint in box. So this is just kind of, you know, rounding out that, that set. Um, do love it that you can find uh, boxed Game Boy games fairly regularly over in these parts. And you can see it's pretty cheap after... After tax, it was only 510 yen, so just about five U.S. dollars. Uh, I can say this box is quite nice. It's got that uh, old school art. Uh, interesting story. One of my uh, students uh, from last year, his older brother was uh, one of the people who created Puyo Puyo or worked on the original uh, game. And let's uh, see if this includes anything other than the box and the game. Um, Alright, here we go. What do we got in the box? What's in the box? Alright, there's the cartridge with the dust case, the registration card, and yes, the instruction booklet. Huzzah! It is complete. Not a bad deal for just under five dollars. Well, even it, it's even still it's it's crisp. Yeah, this was this was a good buy. This will go on my on my Game Boy display shelf. So I've mentioned before that I've bought and sold a ton of stuff since uh, living in Japan, and very rarely have I ever regretted anything. Uh, but one of those times uh, was a set of uh, Evangelion figures called uh, the Evangelion uh, Fraulin series Revoltex. Uh, they are, in my opinion, the best uh, releases of those figures in action figure form ever done. Uh, I sold them when I got rid of almost all of my Ava stuff ten years ago. And... Uh, I've never wanted to uh, buy them back one at a time. I've always wanted to get them like together, so I didn't just have like one. But uh, hey, okay, I've had them, had them both, and at a really, really good deal. That's uh, one thousand two hundred and fifty yen each, and that's I think less than half of what they originally retailed for. It's certainly less than what they've been going for recently on the secondary market. Uh, they never made a Shinji for this series, but uh, this set is uh, in a scale to where I'm pretty sure I can find a, a Shinji like statue type thing and a similar thing. So this will be definitely going on my Evangelion permanent collection shelf. Uh, once I get rid of the packaging, of course, I don't have space or love for packaging. But these are, the packaging is pretty nice. Uh, you know, as you can see, there's, uh, this is when they're also doing uh, Transformers in the set. You got, uh, uh, Tetsuji Nijuhachi or uh, Gigantor down uh, here. And these are just really, really nice figures. These came out before the. Uh, before, I mean, these are these are based on the uh, anime series, not the uh, new movies. But yeah, they're uh, really, really nice figures. And I'm happy to have uh, been able to get them back in my collection for about. $25. And the last one was something, I don't know anything about this. I mean, I know what it is, but I don't know, like, the condition it's in. Um, 
Okay, so Transformer stuff is fairly pricey here. I mean, even really, really common stuff, uh, like vintage stuff, like 20 years or older type stuff, uh, it, I very, 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 very rarely see it cheap. And even like when I see you know stuff that's not in any way rare, you know, I mean, I, I, you'll see like loose movie figures for similar to like retail price. Uh, I mean, I saw a um, uh, Galaxy Force Megatron like missing a bunch of stuff, uh, like eighty dollars, like eight thousand something yen. Um, so when I saw this today. I wasn't holding out a whole lot of hope for it to be cheap. Uh, I, I was figuring you know, I was going to see this little sack here, you know, black convoy. Uh, seeing that you know, it's in the, like this sack is going to be you know, like a hundred dollars or something. It's, it's, it's uh, you know, it's black convoy. The guy that became Scourge, one of the, the nicest uh, black retained Optimus Primes, just chrome for days. I mean, it, it looked a little beat up, and I don't know what is in this bag. I, I know, I mean, I'm guessing it's missing a bunch of stuff, but for the price, which was, yeah, uh, 1,980 yen, 18-ish uh, dollars. Um, I figured it would display well enough uh, on my, my Optimus Prime shelf, convoy shelf, that, yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna grab this. Uh, as long as it wasn't missing any limbs, and it was, it was coming with me. And they do have this thing taped up very nicely, so it wasn't like someone could have reached in and stolen anything from the bag. Nothing that would have happened. But, uh, all right, let's, let's see. I'm guessing at minimum it's missing a few accessories, but hey, who knows? It could be missing, you know, Limbs and stuff, but uh, we don't see. Uh, that sounds kind of crazy. All right, so let's see. We got the trailer here. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a couple of uh, chrome scuffs here and there. Uh, I've not messed around with a black convoy or a scourge in yeah, 15 years, probably. It has been, it has been a minute. Alright. Uh, yeah, uh, oh man, the thing opens up into this huge. I forgot how big the damn base was. <laughs> See, this is really big. Uh, it's got the uh, little plunger dealy. There's the. There's the cannon. Wow! Jeez, it has been a hot minute since I've fussed around with one of these things. As a surprise, uh, it, it does include the uh, the two missiles, the two red and black missiles. And what else is in here? Just a whole bunch of the discs, and unlike the uh, Hasbro release, it does have the. Upside down G2 Autobot symbol. I always thought that was really cool. So here's Scourge himself. Black Convoy. Uh, Alright, so uh, yeah, I mean, his limbs are all here. Um, stickers missing, maybe? And yeah, I mean, of course, he does not have the. Uh, my finger there. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't have the sword, which I'm guessing is why the, the price was so low. But I mean, it's, it's not like a, a uh, sword for Black Convoy is tough to come by. They, they, they're out there. So yeah, there he is. And that guy in front of Mount Fuji. Cool. So yeah, that was, that's a fairly exciting book off haul, I, I think. All said and done. Got a cool Transformer for 20 bucks, a couple of nice uh, Evangelion figures, Puyo Puyo. Just, uh, yeah, makes me feel a little bit better. Don't know about you. 
All right, well, that was my look at the uh, the book off haul for this week. Uh, thanks for joining me. You know, I know you got I got the uh, three subscribers out there. Love all three of you. Thank you very much. Uh, take care and happy hobbying.